hydroxylapatite, also called hydroxyapatite, is a naturally occurring mineral form of calcium apatite with the formula Car5, PO4, 3, OH, but is usually written Car10, PO4, 6, OH, 2 to denote that the crystal unit cell comprises two entities. Hydroxylapatite is the hydroxyl end member of the complex apatite group. The OH ion can be replaced by fluoride, chloride or carbonate, producing fluorapatite or chlorapatite. It crystallizes in the hexagonal crystal system. Pure hydroxylapatite powder is white. Naturally occurring apatites can, however, also have brown, yellow, or green colorations, comparable to the discolorations of dental fluorosis. Up to 50% by volume and 7% by weight is a modified form of hydroxylapatite. Carbonated calcium deficient hydroxylapatite is the main mineral of which dental enamel and dentin are composed. Hydroxylapatite crystals are also found in the small calcifications known as corpora anoshia or brain sand. Chemical synthesis of hydroxyapatite Hydroxyapatite can be synthesized via several methods such as wet chemical deposition, biomimetic deposition, sol gel root or electrode position. Yagai and Aoki propose the hydroxyapatite in a crystal suspension can be prepared by a wet chemical precipitation reaction following the reaction equation below, 10 car, OH, 2 plus 6 hours 3 PO4 a car 10, PO4, 6, OH. 2 plus 18 hours 2 o. several studies have shown that hydroxyapatite synthesis via wet chemical route can be improved by power ultrasound. The ultrasonically assisted synthesis of hydroxyapatite is a successful technique to produce nanostructured hydroxyapatite at high quality standards. The ultrasonic route allows to produce nanocrystalline hydroxyapatite as well as modified particles, for example core shell nanospheres, and composites. Medical uses. Hydroxylapatite can be found in teeth and bones within the human body. Thus, it is commonly used as a filler to replace amputated bone or as a coating to promote bone and growth into prosthetic implants. Although many other phases exist with similar or even identical chemical makeup, the body responds to them very differently. Coral skeletons can be transformed into hydroxylapatite by high temperatures. Their porous structure allows relatively rapid in growth at the expense of initial mechanical strength. The high temperature also burns away any organic molecules such as proteins, preventing an immune response and rejection. Many modern implants, for example hip replacements, dental implants and bone conduction implants, are coated with hydroxylapatite. It has been suggested that this may promote osseointegration. Porous hydroxylapatite implants are used for local drug delivery in bone. It is also being used to repair early lesions in tooth enamel. Pathology Hydroxylapatite deposits in tendons around joints, resulting in the medical condition calcific tendonitis. Supplement Microcrystalline hydroxylapatite is marketed as a bone building supplement with superior absorption in comparison to calcium. It is a second-generation calcium supplement derived from bovine bone. In the 1980s, bone meal calcium supplements were found to be contaminated with heavy metals, and although the manufacturers claim their MH is free from contaminants, people are advised to avoid it because it has not been well tested. However, the limited tests seem to show positive results. A 1995 randomized placebo-controlled study of 40 people in Europe found that it was more effective than calcium carbonate in slowing bone loss. A 2007 randomized double-blind controlled study of an MH supplement called the Bone Builder found significant positive effects in bone mineral density compared to control. Hydroxylapatite has been used by Noel Fitzpatrick to facilitate bionic development in animals by coating steel rods in hydroxylapatite to encourage natural growth of skin around it. As a component of nanocomposites, hydroxylapatite is finding uses as a potential new bone replacement materials. Chromatography The mechanism of hydroxylapatite chromatography is complicated and has been described as mixed-mode ion exchange. 
it involves non-specific interactions between positively charged calcium ions and negatively charged phosphate ions on the stationary phase HA resin with protein negatively charged carboxyl groups and positively charged amino groups. It may be difficult to predict the effectiveness of HA chromatography based on physical and chemical properties of the desired protein to be purified. For elution, a buffer with increasing phosphate concentration is typically used. Use in archaeology, in archaeology, hydroxyl appetite from human and animal remains is analyzed in order to reconstruct ancient diets. The mineral fractions of bone and teeth act as a reservoir of trace elements, including strontium. It has been established that the ratio of strontium to calcium in bone hydroxylapatite broadly reflects an animal's diet during the period before its death when the bone was being formed, or in the case of dental mineral in childhood. In either case analysis of SRK ratios allows an individual's diet to be classified as carnivorous, herbivorous or omnivorous and either predominantly marine or terrestrially based. However the difficulty of compensating for post-mortem contamination of archaeological samples through interaction with groundwater continues to cast doubt on the reliability of the method. Stable isotope analysis is considered a more viable alternative, although strontium and other trace mineral analyses of dental samples are commonly used in situations where this is impossible because the collagen content of the bone has completely decayed. Animal structures the clubbing appendages of the peacock mantis shrimp are made of an extremely dense form of the mineral, which is being investigated for potential synthesis and engineering use. See also, archaeological science, biomaterials, mechanical properties, references.